I'm Frankie and this is Frankie's DIY and more. Today we're going to paint this chef robe right here. It's antique, does look pretty, but it needs to be white with the rest of my furniture. So I'm going to paint it this uh, chiffon, oh it's backwards in there, chiffon cream and my trusty brush. So I'm going to get this painted and we're going to get it distressed and we'll be right back. So here it is. It's a before picture. It's just stuff that I keep uh, in here. It's my Christmas paper and junk, really. But anyway, that's what I keep in there. It's handy for me. And I'm fixing to paint it. I think I'll paint the outside of the door. And then the, and then I'll paint the inside of the door. But I don't think, I'm not going to mess with the rest of it. I think that would just be way too much trouble. I don't know. I could paint those two little doors. I don't know. We'll see. So, hang with me. Let's see what happens. So, I've used this brush several times on my end tables and coffee table, and I don't wash it out. I just uh, wrap it up in saran paper and uh, put it in the refrigerator, and if I can get the saran wrap off of it, and it'll be ready to go. So, it saved me a little time. I took the knobs off right here, so that's not no big thing, those little knobs, but right here... Is where it used to have a little lock. Well, one day the lock got broke, and I had to pull it apart, so now it's it don't work. So I've got these two holes right here, and I went and got me two stickies, and I cut them out the size of the hole, and I'm going to plug it up with that, and I hope that works. And it does. So I'm going to paint over that. And hope them little joker. Uh oh, that didn't do. Might have to cut another one for that. Uh oh, I think it's fell off in there. There it goes. Anyway, there he is. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just gonna paint over that, and I hope they stay. Other thing, I guess I could put get a little uh, emblem or something stick on that, but I need to cover it up for right now. So I'll do that. Well, I got the first coat on the first side right there, so I got to keep going. First coat always looks a little rough. Second coat to cover it up. I have an intruder. All right, I got the whole thing painted. First coat, let that dry. I'll put another one on. Okay, here's the question. Since this is going to be pushed against the wall, should I paint the back? I don't think nobody's ever going to know it. I'm not going to see it, so I don't know. So, just so you know, I got plastic up and under it, so, you know, I can just paint away. Oops, I forgot a spot. All right, the second coat, the, the first coat is dry, and I'm fixing to put the second coat on. That's the second coat right there, but I think it's going to take another coat. While my chef robe is drying, this thing um, is on the wall behind the chef robe, so I think I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it the same color. Uh, so while that's drying, I'm going to try to get a coat of that on this. I guess I'll just stipple it on. I don't think it'll matter if I miss a piece or two. Just make it look weather to know. So let me get let me get that done. Okay. Finished. I've got this little stipply brush right here. I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby. And it's, it's like it's a stiff, stiff brush, so it's good for pouncing and stuff on there. So it's it's good. Alright. We'll let this dry. I'm gonna go go back and uh, Put another coat on my shelf robe. Well, the answer was yes. I did paint the back of it. Okay, finally got it finished. Distressed it just a little bit.
I'm fixing to start in on this one right here and give it a uh, chiffon cream um, chalk paint. Well, I got my little uh, desk painted. I didn't get the chair painted. And uh, excuse those wires and stuff. I hadn't got everything plugged up. But I'll paint the chair tomorrow and stick it there. And... Uh, in one other uh, video, I made this lamp right here, and I decided I would put it in here. So, I moved it and stuck it in here. Gives me more light. So, I distressed that a little bit, too. Um, not no whole lot, but just a little bit. So, I appreciate you watching. This is Frankie at Frankie's DIY and more.